Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. Got the uh, live deer field cam up here. And uh, wow, what an active day. Clarity's not that good, but there are some crazy wild tropical fish out there today. Uh, lots of current, too, as you can see. Well, speaking of currents, <laughs> uh, what am I saying? Speaking of currents, sorry about the little cough there. And yes, I did get the COVID last week. Uh, I think I got it. Uh, uh, well, I, I better not throw that particular place under the bus because there's nothing they could have done about it. I mean, it just spreads around. I've noticed a lot more people getting it. I've not been vaccinated, never had the vaccination, um, and only because I had more concerns about that than I did my own immune system kind of dealing with it. And uh, But, you know, you're always nervous. You're always nervous. And I, I've always been kind of a person anyway. I've never, you know, been big on... Uh, 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 what is it, close personal contact with people I don't know. Anytime I've seen anyone come in near my presence that's all boogered up or coughing, <laughs> uh, I avoid it. I've done this since my 20s. Uh, maybe I got a little paranoia about germs and stuff. And as far as uh, uh, hotels, and uh, not hotels, elevators, believe it or not, if you ever meet me in an elevator, I'm usually holding my breath until I get off. And I did this 20 years ago, so I know it sounds crazy, but I got the COVID and uh, so far, so good. Um, wow, look at this crazy camera today. Um, and I don't mean it, anything's good about it. I think what happened is uh, uh, Tuesday is when I kind of, someone called me and said, hey, the, you know, it was going around here. You need to be aware of that. I said, okay, thanks for giving me the heads up. I think on Wednesday, it was kind of weird, or no, it was Thursday, actually. Um, I was standing, working, and my fingertips all of a sudden uh, uh, at work, my fingertips started getting numb and tingly. It was a weird feeling, too. Uh, and I got a little kind of lightheaded and uh, started to get a low-level headache. I said, that's kind of odd. Um, and uh, again, I, they didn't call and tell me until Friday. Someone said, they said, oh, it's not, you know, everybody got COVID over here. I said, well, anyways, uh, uh, so that was the first symptoms and then really didn't hit me until Saturday night. And I hope you don't mind me sharing this with you because some of you may have not experienced this yet. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm middle age, uh, smoked heavy when I was young, but uh, kind of off and on between my 30s and my 50s, and then stopped smoking entirely after that, pretty much. Uh, so, and live a pretty healthy lifestyle, go uh, uh, work out a couple times a week, and I, uh, I eat pretty well, uh, but no less, just to kind of give you a background on me. And uh, I was not vaccinated. I was kind of always unsure about it, just only because you hear about the myocarditis and other things going on, which is, you know, no one's making this up. Uh, and also, I, I, I felt the confidence to trust in my own immune system, which I'm glad I did now. Uh, Saturday night was the worst of it with uh, fever, aches, you know, nothing really super high, I don't think, in temperature, check my temperature, but uh, sweats and cold sweats and cold body aches. Uh, that pretty much ended Sunday morning. I took a walk to the beach. I was feeling a little bit better. And I, you know, I didn't go around people, obviously, and jumped in the ocean, swam a little bit, felt, felt a lot better, came back, and all yesterday was pretty good. S Sunday was good. Uh, today I feel a little better, but still, you know, mild symptoms. I can still feel uh, my skin is kind of uh, weird. My skin hurts a little bit in certain areas. It's just some weird symptoms that come with viruses. Um, uh, like this, I guess. Uh, but no less, uh, didn't really move into my uh, throat or uh, my lungs too much at all, which I'm thankful for. And uh, uh, again, I'm glad I trusted my immune system. So yeah, I'm okay, I believe, uh, though I'm only less than a week into this. I think I'm in the recovery stages. And uh, again, the worst of it was the, uh, uh, the fever stuff and, and, and that kind of thing. All right. Lot, boy, lots of pretty fish out there today. All right, now that uh, I've kind of given you, and by the way, I won't be in the office for a couple days <laughs> or more, uh, uh, obviously for obvious reasons, obviously. Uh, is that a double? No, okay. Obvious, for obvious reasons. Uh, let's take a look at spot prices here. I'm kind of uh, surprised. And, uh, uh, you know, they didn't really get hammered last night. In fact, there was strength in both markets last night. We're seeing the hammering mostly in the Crimex markets uh, today. We'll take a look at the 24-hour chart. Silver, I mean gold, 1845, uh, the low 1865, the high. We are not sitting much higher than where we were at the low today. So they have monkey hammered it down in the crooked comics markets once again. Uh, 2172, the low in silver, 2221. And I suspect we'll see the same thing. We look at the 21, uh, 24 hour charts that uh, monkey hammered in the crimex markets between uh, just probably not too long ago. Uh, currently sitting at 2175, uh, not too much above the low. Uh, what a bunch of nonsense this is. This is just pure fucking manipulation by these bastards. Um, I, I think maybe this, this uh, virus is going to let my tongue slip more. 
because uh, when you don't feel well. <laughs> uh, platinum, uh, 949, uh, again, not too far off the high, so it went up, and then, the, and then the crooked bastards took it down again, folks. That's all you can look at is, but, you know, read a great Ted Butler uh, uh, article on this. And the problem is, is when you see these big drops, especially the new people and the people that want to buy things that continually go up and never go down, the problem uh, with the silver market and with the gold market on the Crimex, the crooked Crimex markets is that, that uh, not the problem, but in some degrees it's not a problem because what happens is they, they short these markets, uh, uh, they drive the prices down, and then they have to have the prices go back up again in order to repeat this process. They've been doing this for decades. So anyone that believes that the sole intention of uh, these, uh, uh, um, in my opinion, criminal entities doing this is, uh, you know, collusive behavior on the comics market and the silver market and the gold market now, um, uh, anyone that's paying attention to this, you need to know that they have to put bring the prices back up in order to do this over and over and over again. So for new folks, when they see these big price drops, they think, oh God, silver's going down, never coming back up again. And for you experienced folks, I, thought, I think there's hopefully one thing you've learned from listening to my videos about the Crimex markets is that they do have to rinse and repeat, which means they have to run it down and then they have to, and that's how they make their money. If they just ran it down and stayed down and they kept going down, that's not how they make their money. Um, they have to run it down and then let it rise up again and then bang it again. And anyone that's looked at the uh, charts and looked at this uh, on a daily basis like I have since, frick, I don't even remember. I've been doing this since 77, but I can't admit looking at the markets all the time, but a lot. I look at the market prices here multiple, multiple times a day, over and over, uh, and uh, you see patterns. And these patterns definitely show manipulative behavior without a doubt. Uh, the problem is, and I called, by the way, I called Ted Cruz's office today, Senator Ted Cruz, uh, and I was uh, uh, trying to get his uh, aid. I said, hey, you know, I got some information, you know, I'd like to share with you that's involving manipulation and, uh, uh, you know, collusion on uh, the comics markets. And it's probably cost in the tune of billions of dollars to investors over the years. Uh, I, and, and then, uh, you know what she told me? She says, oh, it's a legal matter, you know, don't call us. <laughs> And I was kind of disgusted with that a little bit. I didn't let it go for, for what it's worth, okay? I did not let that go, by the way. I quickly explained to the aide, I said, so you're telling me that if someone had information that would had given, that they could given you and the senator's office that would have alerted you to Bernie Sanders, not Bernie Sanders, uh-oh, <laughs> what a slip that is, alerted you to Bernie uh, oh, Madoff, well before he was able to take even more people would you have taken that call? Would you have pressed that call? And there was a pause on the phone for a second. And I said, uh, she says, well, the senator cannot legally take uh, phone calls on criminal stuff like this. I said, that's bullshit. Where is that in the rules? Where is that in the regulations? Pause again, no answer. She finally gives me an email to send Senator Cruz a, uh, uh, a message regarding why I want to meet with him in person. So I've got to word this correctly, uh, and I've got to take a little time. Uh, just, it, it, it may not even happen. Chances are they'll just blow me off. That's how these fuckers in Washington are, whether they're red or blue. They're worthless. You know, all they're good for is voting for more money uh, that somehow ends up back in their pockets somehow. Uh, and again, Democrats, Republicans, they all fucking suck. All right? Ah, I'm in a mood. So anyways, uh, I did uh, put a call in uh, Ted Cruz's office. I'm going to try to word that carefully where... Um, in fact, that's may, how I word it. I may word it to Ted Cruz. Uh, Mr. Cruz, if you had the ability to speak to someone that could have alerted you to Bernie Madoff prior to the big you know, blow up, would you have answered him? That's how I'm going to start that. I think that's a great way to answer or, or to ask a question. Hey, if you got thoughts on it, how I should phrase it to Ted Cruz like that, uh, because I get one shot of him getting to look at the, uh, the email and, and consider whether you want to uh, deal with it. So the best way I'm thinking is just bring up the Madoff deal. Listen, if you had known, if someone had whis whispered in your ear about Madoff, in retrospect, would you have done something now? So I think I'm going to approach it from that angle. Uh, no less, uh, let's take a look at the 20, no less. Boy, there's my new word you can drink on besides the F word. Uh, and I, <clears throat> let's see here, let's move into 24 and I'm not apologizing for it. <laughs> uh, let's look into, because you got to call uh, people for what they are. They're, they're criminal bastards. They really are. And uh, when, you, when you talk about Washington, D.C., the real myth, the real, uh, the real bullshit is that either party cares for us. I mean, there may be a few individual senators and, and, gov you know, uh, um, and uh, Congress people that uh, do. Uh, a few, all right? 
but a majority of them, they just vote the party line. They just do what they're told. Uh, and the information they get is spewed from people they feel are officials. You know, the CIA lies to government, you know, the CIA lies to them all the time, the FBI lies to them all the time. And what, did I, what I don't get about these uh, politicians is that they just believe this shit wholesale. Uh, again, morons and stuff. Um, boy, I'm really going off on these people today. CFTC, for example, I've talked about the CFTC uh, many times. They're the governing board that should be taking care of this illegal behavior happening at the COMEX markets. But what does the CFTC do? Nothing. And you know why? They're either, because they, if they did something now, then they would have to admit that there was a problem in the past, and then it, they would make them look like the idiots or the complicit assholes that they really are in this whole deal, okay? I'm suspecting they just don't get it, and they never have gotten it. I think they do now, possibly, and I think they're seeing signs of that. And again, for them to admit it's happening, uh, it would cause them big grief. So you're never going to see the CME uh, uh, commit to any answers that said, yes, this is happening, or the CFTC. And if you try to get a hold of the CFTC's board members, which are Congress people, uh, if you, and, and you know who the Congress people are? The, the, you know who oversees the CFTC? The Agricultural Committee. Now, what I'm asking you to do is pause this video, go look and see what Congress people sit on the Agricultural Committee, and ask me if you think any, why the Agricultural Committee? That's ridiculous. Old, antiquated uh, rules. <clears throat> um, but if, if you look at who sits on the Congressional Board, uh, the Congressional Board on the uh, CFTC Committee, who oversees them uh, on the Agriculture Board, you will be amazed because these people couldn't possibly understand how to tie their shoes, some of them, much less understand complex commodity laws. So you're completely, uh, and again, you know, I mentioned to the, the girl earlier uh, at, Ted, at Ted Cruz's phone number, I said, listen, I mean, think about this. Uh, it's not a legal issue. Think, she says, well, you need to go to the governing a regulation, uh, you know, the agencies, uh, law enforcement. I said, listen, the, the, the agency that rules, you know, is supposed to overwatch that, the CFTC, is useless. Just like the agencies during the Bernie Madoff scheme were useless. They knew that there were some issues. They came in. They didn't know how to deal with it. Either that or Bernie paid them off. But I'd like to think that uh, they were honest and they were just fucking idiots like our current uh, agencies are and like our current politicians are. Uh, clueless idiots that get information from the worst fucking places. Actually, the fox's garden and the hen house is who they get their information from. Uh, man, I am just on a roll today. Uh, no less, uh, hey, if you got Comex's number, give them a call, let them know that you're tired of this manipulation. I'll get into more into that. I got a kind of big surprise for a headline tomorrow if you want to watch. Um, I got an idea, I got a thought. Uh, uh, so here's your gold markets right here. Of course, where I said the gold markets got monkey hammered, it is in the New York Crimex markets. But don't forget, folks, when I say Crimex markets, Crimex, Comex owns the Globex as well, which is a 24-hour trading platform. And usually when you see large precipitous drops in gold and silver prices in the evening Globex markets, you know for sure that's just monkey hammered bullshit uh, because nobody sells large volumes of gold and silver in thinly overnight traded markets unless their sole intention was to drive the prices down, okay? That's it. <laughs> All right, let's move into silver and see where the monkey hammering occurred. And woo, there it is right there, folks. Uh, there's your monkey hammering of silver on the New York Crimex markets. The crooked motherfuckers they are. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going a little bit overboard today. But, you know, you just get sick of seeing this shit. You really do. At some point, you're thinking like, wow, is, is you know, we know our institutions are corrupt or stupid and or stupid. We know our institutions are. We really do. Um, from uh, uh, CFTC, SEC, all the, you know, the people that were supposed to uh, catch Bernie Madoffs uh, and all these scamsters and they're clueless. They're clueless. The only people they go after are their political enemies. That's it. That's the only thing they're good at, going after people that disagree with them, okay? Uh, and I guess you can include the FBI, the Department of Justice, all these people. Uh, folks, we live in a terrible time when it comes to justice. Uh, you only get justice if you have enough money to pay for it, and, uh, um, and you got the right people behind you, okay? Um, and I think this is where Elon Musk is going to find some uh, things. Elon Musk has the money to pay for justice, but now he doesn't have the people behind him. Uh, or he's got the wrong people against him. That's the whole deal. So take a look at here. Uh, if you're sick of seeing this, where is the COMEX phone number? Gosh darn it, I gave it to you guys earlier this week. But just 
just call up comics to switchboard and ask them if you'd like to talk to someone about silver manipulation. Uh, be polite, don't be an asshole, but, and you know what, even if you don't get anywhere, just let's keep ringing that fucking phone number and let them know that we're here and we're watching, all right? Uh, 2173, the current price, it was above that $22 mark. And like I said, don't get discouraged. Um, this manipulation will blow up in their faces at one time. I firmly believe this. Ted F Butler firmly believes this. But meanwhile, you know, when they drive the prices of silver down, uh, you, know, you, know, you know how I always talk about knowing how the game is rigged and, know who, and if you don't know who the sucker is at the table, you're the sucker. Well, here's the deal. Is if you're watching the biggest, larger play players at the table, which are these commercial crooked shorts, short banks, uh, they are the largest crooked fuckers at the table. Follow their playbook, you know. Uh, their whole deal is driving the price of silver down, buying back those long contracts, uh, uh, or buy, and letting, you know, buy, driving the price of silver down with their short contracts, letting the price go back up, driving it down again, uh, a continual ritual of uh, washing out the longs, all right. So, as I said, uh, even though you may see silver prices go down, and it has, this has happened for years, and as you know, I'm not nervous about it. In fact, I understand it more than I ever have in my life. I see the crookedness. I see how they're playing the game. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, just buy their frickin' dips. Buy the frickin' dips. Uh, take advantage of that. Just do what they're doing. At some point, they're going to lose control of those shorts. The longs are going to be in control, and uh, then uh, it's going to take off. But no less... I would rather see this manipulation and, and silver have a true discovery price, and not a manipulated one like the Crooked Comics provides. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, stock market today, which I'm really surprised up as much as they are. Take a look at that. Why the frick would that happen, all right? There's no good news. There's nothing good fundamentally out there. There's no, In fact, raising interest rates was supposed to knock this down. You know what this is, folks? This. You know how I say markets are manipulated, all markets are manipulated? Well, I believe uh, well, everything in our life is manipulated, folks. That's why I always ask you to think for yourself and question authority. Otherwise, you are the, you are the uh, 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 sucker at the table. But uh, take a look at this. The only reason that this is up is because of what I call the plunge protection team. And I'm going to go there real quick because I'm always asking you to stop the video. And plunge protection team. I'm going to read that for you real quick, team. Um, again, I've talked about the plunge protection team many times over. What is the plunge protection team? The plunge protection team is a colloquial name given to Working Group on Financial Markets, created in 1988 to provide financial and economic recommendations to the U.S. President during turbulent market times. This group is headed by the Secretary of Treasures. Other members include the Chair of Board of Governors, the Federal Reserve, the Chair of Securities and Exchange Committee, the Chair of Commodities Futures. Uh, there you go. There's where gold price. That's who might be manipulating the prices of gold down these fuckers, too. But I'm not going to go there. We're just going to talk about the stock market right now, uh, why it's up and why you haven't seen it totally collapse, in my opinion, and the opinion of people way smarter than me. Um, Trading Commission, uh, the name plunge protection was con coined by the Washington Post and first applied to the group in 1977. Uh, the plunge protection team's official mi mission is to advise the U.S. President during times of economic uh, uh, and stock market turbulence. Critics fear, now they, have, they put this in here, and I wouldn't say critics fear, I'd say, and, and before I read this, think about this, we now, after this was probably written, uh, and we now know after 2008 that the Fed does directly intervene in markets, all right? They do it uh, overtly, uh, sometimes, and covertly, many times. We learned this after 2008. It's a fact that the Fed does this, okay? So I don't think it's critics anymore. I think it's a fact that the plunge protection team doesn't just advise, but they actively intervene to prop up stock prices, colluding with banks to rig the market in effect. Folks, in my opinion, this is exactly what we got going on right here. Uh, they're actively intervening to prop up stock markets. The Fed's got endless money to do it. They've already set a precedent in 2008 to do it. That is why stock prices are doing what they're doing, and they haven't collapsed totally because the only thing these stupid bastards have learned their whole lives is, and to, from since 2008 is that the, a, a total instant overnight collapse is bad, which is true. Uh, but they didn't learn how to fix it. All they learned how to do is just <laughs> keep pumping more you know, keep pumping more money into the system, okay? And as you know, I've always looked at the economy like, you know, the United States economy was like a patient that had a major traumatic wound. Uh, and maybe it wasn't, I won't even say that. United States uh, in 2008, uh, the, our economy uh, was suffering 
a, a festering wound that turned into a major wound that just started bleeding out really badly. The festering wound would have been just bad economic policy all the way up to 2008. The, uh, the gaping wound and bleeding was the 2008 economic collapse itself. And all these stupid bastards learned how to do is just put a Band-Aid on the patient, uh, not fix the wound, uh, but put a Band-Aid on the patient and keep pumping more plasma into it. And folks, that's exactly what they're doing right now. They're still pumping more plasma. Uh, even though I think they know they can't save this market, they're just trying to prevent an overnight collapse. Woo, man, I'm on a roll today. Uh, I think it's just from sitting around for a couple days not doing anything. Uh, by the way, if you feel well and you ever get the COVID, uh, <clears throat> now don't go around people, but I advise a swim in a nice, beautiful, warm ocean. Uh, for some reason, I, I actually dove around a little bit, and that made me feel so much better. Uh, I needed to get out, too. Uh, okay, this is from uh, that site that I really like, Trueflation, which is awesome, but I, I saw their little quote on this page. Uh, inflation rates are sky high. The official U.S. inflation now is the highest in 31 years, with many product prices increasing rapidly. The 2021 Thanksgiving cost cost 14 percent more than last year. In November 2021, you paid 51 percent more for gas, 24 percent more for steak, 20 percent more for bacon, and 12 percent more for eggs. And those are just a couple things, folks. If the prices rose by two-digit percent, why is the headline inflation so low? Inflation, after all, is the annual change in the prices of goods and services. And I'll tell you why: because these crooked, worthless bastards. That, that put these official figures together are lying sons of bitches, all right? That's why, folks, that's pretty simple to figure out. You're being lied to every day on every front. And that includes with this Ukraine war. I mean, I've been saying it. I'm not popular for saying it, but I've been studying this Ukraine issue since 2014. Well, why? Because my girlfriend's Ukrainian. I've been following what's going on there since the uh, maiden coup, not a revolution, the maiden coup in 14. But I'm not going to go there, okay? Um, that's just too much information. Plus, I'm not quite sure how the algos uh, take that stuff. Uh, I'm going to move into, what, what did I move into? Oh, well, anyway, I like that statement. Let's move into uh, what's going on around the world. Uh, I had nothing to do but sit around and weed. weed. <laughs> <coughs> See, there you go. A little bit there. Uh, read uh, stuff on uh, <coughs> uh, ZH here. Um, that's a shame, actually. No one should, you know, that's actually a shame. I was going to make some snide comment about it should be someone else in uh, uh, Goldman, not in the Goldman Sachs, but it should be someone else at JP. But, you know, no, violence and, and that kind of stuff are never an answer. I may joke around sometime that I hope the guy takes a dirt nap with somebody, but uh, that's kind of like, you know what I'm saying, I don't really mean that. Uh, <clears throat> and I try to avoid feeling that badly about people. Uh, however, I... <laughs> Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, listen, you know, this guy's a complete loss, man. He, I mean, really, really. Uh, how many times can a person do that right there? And I'm circling like that. I mean, this is just crazy. This guy's a loser, man. It, he's a puppet, just like, just like the, Z, the uh, president of Ukraine, uh, in, uh, in my opinion. Puppets, puppets, all right? Uh, not much difference between them. He's not running the show. I think the Obama administration is running the show, truthfully, uh, and, and the Clinton administration are running. Again, I think this is a, uh, what is it, a third term uh, for uh, Obama, <laughs> or maybe the term that Hillary never got, all right? And listen, listen, I'm not a Republican either, and I'm not a Democrat. I just, I can, you know, nice thing about being in the middle is you, you can throw rocks at glass houses. <laughs> all right. Um, Let's see, uh, all right, I'm not quite sure, don't want to get into that. Just see if there's any uh, uh, news on here. And oh, you know, one other thing I forgot to mention, a little bit of nauseousness, um, but I didn't eat today either. I've been drinking coffee uh, and minor stomach stuff, but nothing, yeah, nothing crazy. Uh, and, and don't mind me bringing this stuff up about this. I've just was kind of share my experience so far and we'll know more tomorrow. More tomorrow. Uh, rest and be sure if I miss a video, Tomorrow, it means things went south for me. <laughs> so I don't believe that. I, I believe actually I'm in recovery mode pretty good. Um, but I'll keep you in, informed. Uh, again, this guy's a puppet, man. I hate to say it. Uh, I think he's well intentioned, but you know, he, 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 he is being told what to do. And, and actually, you can see that um, uh, in so many ways uh, a puppet of the CIA, in my opinion, and, the, uh, uh, and NATO. Let's see here. What else we got? Um, I guess there's not too much. I'm really going to just hop over and tell you what the best deals out there. Nothing has changed. So as soon as I hit that JM page, all you seasoned viewers, if you've heard it a hundred times, it's the same stuff I'm telling you to buy that I have for a year or two now. Um, all right, let's, uh, um, there's another word I got to get or, or, or thing I got to get out of my, uh, 
Um, um, there we go. Um, um, I'm actually oming. I'm not oming. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to get out of ZH. Like I said, you know me. I can go off on different things. Oh, this I saw on the weekend. I saw like a little video of someone saying, uh, you know, as far as war goes, I think we should really, really avoid trying to get into a battle with uh, 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 these folks. I mean, it, there's almost a silliness to this video right here, okay? Uh, it really is, but it seems to be the general mindset of the military. And uh, uh, <clears throat> and actually, I wouldn't want to mess with that dude right there either. And, and I know I'm being a bit on the extreme side, but this is kind of what... <sighs> you know, young, uh, young soldiers dream of and y what young soldiers think it's all about. And I, again, I believe uh, this is a little bit over the top and it's unlikely that this is the type of warfare you're going to see where a guy's got in a full split getting hit with a board. <laughs> it kind of shows you the toughness though and the mentality of it. So here, and, and I, 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 you know, and again, maybe I'm being a bit extreme, but uh, uh, there you go. There's our U.S. Army right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. And this is not the only example of that. This is the, uh, they don't, they don't, they no longer give us that. Is that lady really twerking up there? She was. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. But anyways, folks, I think you're kind of getting where I'm going with this. Uh, this country needs some major changes and overhauls. You don't send young, idealistic kids with no idea of what the horrors of war are really like and without beating the shit out of them in basic training and without putting them through courses that yeah they will fail if they're not good enough not one of those deals where everybody passes uh, which is what we got in the military more or less uh, but no less this is just embarrassing kind of um, let me get out of there I don't even know why I brought that up it's just something I saw uh, best deals out there folks are still the one ounce bars um, and uh, Valcombi's is what we carry uh, they have them for uh, 1951 in low quantities, 1941 in small quantities. I can usually beat this price by three to five bucks per unit uh, on JM Bullion. Uh, pretty easy for me to do. As far as silver goes, what's the best deals out there again in silver? You know, it's the same shit, man. Again, if you're uh, an old viewer of mine, just fast forward through this until you see the JM page gone. Uh, silver, what's the best deal in silver? Same stuff in stock. Come on, Brian. Uh, get that, get that, where is it? Silver round, silver bars. This is still the best deal out there, folks. And uh, not one ounce, 100 ounce bars. Um, I haven't checked what I can sell them for, but I can beat the price of 100 ounce bars on JM Bullion. And a lot of you folks say, hey, why do you, you know, I, I usually, and most of the time, beat the price of Atmex and SD as well. I don't check as much uh, because it was just taking too much time to look at uh, the other two big gorillas out there. So I use JM Bullion, who is the 800 pound gorilla, the Walmart of precious metals online, and I will beat their prices, folks. So if you live in South Florida and you, buy, you want to buy or sell precious metals, come and see me. Uh, I can beat their prices, and uh, I'm local, and we give good advice, and we're open 10 to 4 Mondays through Fridays. We're brick and mortar only, so if you don't live in my town, uh, please, I encourage you to find a good local dealer to do business with. And uh, for a lot of reasons, it keeps the money local, and as I've said many, many times, when, when you come in and buy gold and silver from me, I spend that money with the local mechanic, at the local store, at the local restaurant, you know, with the local uh, uh, um, dry cleaners, with, the, you know, I spend that money in town. When I go buy things, I buy things from people in town, in my area, okay? I keep that money local. So if you don't do business with me here, even though I can beat the big online guys, uh, that money's just being shipped to another state where it'll never do your community any good ever again. All right, that's my opinion here, and I'm going to stick with it. Uh, all right, let's move into GATA.org. I thought this was actually very entertaining and funny. AOC touts zero emission engagement ring, ring made with recycling. Is there not the limit of stupid things that this woman and her compatriots say and do? Really? <laughs> oh, recycled gold. Well, almost all gold in the world is recycled. Almost all of it is. Nearly all gold above ground has been recycled and used over and over. That ring that uh, she's saying that is recycled gold, it could very well have the gold of Adolf Hitler's ring in AOC's ring, okay? You think I'm exaggerating? I'm not, all right? All gold has been remelted and re repurposed, and I bet you there's a micron of gold that came from Hitler in AOC's ring. The, the stupid little dummy she is, you know what I mean? I almost said it, all right. Uh, and, and I don't want to, it's just, gosh, you know, people say stupid things, but you know, politicians, I mean, they're already bad enough, but when they just openly say stupid shit, give me a break. Um, what else? That's the best thing I could come up with there. 
Uh, Fizz gold swaps fall behind third in two months as Basel three kicking in. Uh, interestingly enough, someone brought up a great point, and I keep forgetting to talk about this, Basel three. You know, no matter what Basel three it, people say it did or it didn't do, and it was supposed to get rid of this shorting, uh, but again, remember, that's not in the comics markets. That's in the global markets and with the, um, uh, but anyways, let me, I digress here. Uh, what important came out of Basel was gold being moved into a tier one asset. And some of you that haven't heard this before and some of you that forgot about it, that was the important factor. And basically, gold, they put gold on the same level as the U.S. dollar, whereas before it was a second tier. It wasn't on the same level as the dollar. So, which tells me that there was a lot in play going on to get gold to be called a tier one asset. Maybe the Russians did it a long time ago, and the Chinese anticipating that they would need gold. Maybe that it's just, uh, I don't know. But it's kind of coincidental that uh, right now uh, gold is considered a tier one asset, uh, just like the U.S. dollar. Uh, and actually, I would call the U.S. dollar now a tier two asset and gold a tier one asset. All right, I'm moving out of here. Let's talk about uh, silver and gold storm coming. On, uh, uh, I tell you one thing. This this uh, 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 COVID didn't do it is uh, it it didn't make me not long winded. <laughs> In fact, I think I feel even a little more long winded. But that's what happens when you're cooped up for a couple of days. Let's take a look at the uh, YouTube here and uh, comments. I'd like to thank everyone for commenting, and I've got a few minutes to answer some of the comments here. Um, S&P has given up all its main uh, gains made under the failed uh, presidency. That is a hell of a storm coming rolling, and I still believe that absolutely true. Almost as bad as the storm rate. <laughs> Gosh, hey, Big J, absolutely, I can't argue with that. Um, Wayne Jet, fruits of bread. <laughs> Uh, oh, gosh, there's some sexy talk right there. Not that I don't mind sexy talk, I just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> Here we go, I'll remove that. Uh, left wing and right wing owned by the same organizations. Yep, can't argue with that. I don't see much of a difference. You know, the only things with Republicans and Democrats, it's just a distraction to get you to hate your neighbor instead of them. You know, that's the truth. Uh, it gets us fighting with each other instead of looking at the real culprits, which is the fuckers in D.C. Uh, I'm sorry to hear your deal is a turd. I hear that once in a while. You know, some people just don't know how to run a business. And I got to tell you, some people that run coin shops and stuff, they were never business people. They came from other industries and they were hobbyists. So they don't really are good at customers. <laughs> I found this to be true in my industry, Andrew. It's true, you know, the coin industry. Most of them really, again, they came from other industries. Coins were a hobby, a passion. They decided to get into it full time, but they were never business people. Most of them started off working in an office somewhere, accountants or something like that. Uh, again, that's my opinion. Uh, hey, but you know what? Look around, take a longer drive, find a good local dealer, Andrew. Uh, I think we need to double up the amount of stacks and take a much more silver of the market. Um, you know, I don't think that the, you know, I, I hate to talk about the Wall Street silver thing like this, but the, the idea that they're going to buy silver and, uh, it, you know, it does take silver off the market, but they couldn't possibly buy even a, in, it's just impossible when you're talking about the, the millions and millions of ounces uh, that Comex is rolling through on a paper market. I mean, on, on a daily or monthly basis, there's no way in hell that Wall Street silver People are going to buy enough silver to, to, to make a significant impact in the market. And I've said it many times, and I still believe this, and I might get some flack for it, but I've said many times that I see a great opportunity for the Wall Street silver, um, the Wall Street silver uh, 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 moderators and people that run that whole system to make that into a protest, a, a, a very professional protest. That's Wall Street Silver could take their 190,000 members and, and have them calling Comex with a script, you know, saying, hey, listen, we're tired of this. And again, a protest. Protests are legal. There's nothing hinky or weird about doing that. And it, it's a great, it, nobody has a better opportunity to change the entire structure of how Comex is manipulating these markets than Wall Street Silver with the numbers they have. And I'm kind of quite disappointed that, and I brought this up on the Wall Street Silver forum before, no, no reply, no reply. I'm really disappointed that they haven't taken advantage of this huge, huge uh, 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 positive thing that they got going on that they could really turn into something positive for the silver industry instead of just, oh, buy more silver, that's going to make a difference. And I'm sorry, man, it's not, all right? What's going to make a real difference is when we in unison and large groups start calling COMEX, start calling our congressmen, start calling our senators, start calling. Uh, the CFTC, like that'll do any good because you can't even call them. You got to send them an email and they just ignore it anyway. 
Uh, but that's what I, and nothing's going to change. They can buy all the silver they want at Wall Street Silver, <clears throat> ain't going to change shit. Uh, but if that, if that Wall Street Silver uh, forums just even got 10% of their members to start making phone calls in a, in, a, in a professional, polite way, I'm telling you, that would be a game changer. I have no doubt in my mind. I'd, I'd happy to debate anyone on this too. Uh, Rabbit Klein says, dips or no dips, I buy regular. Hey, good, good deal. Buy the dips, man. I would buy the dips. Avoid, you know, buy the dips because that's exactly what the, uh, uh, the, the largest, collusive, smartest players are at the table doing. I won't say smartest, it's, you know, but uh, uh, they get away with it. Uh, do what the whales do. Uh, when we, when were the weak DOG put people in jail for, uh, come on, do you really expect the DOG to do any DOJ? Look what the DOJ did with the last election. Look at what the DOJ has done with uh, Julian Assange. Look what the D, they're about worthless as fucking tits on a log, man. I'm sorry, Ernest, but it's true. You know, again, the power of large numbers of people becoming aware that this is happening, the power of them calling, making frequent calls to congressmen, senators, CFTC, uh, and I would even avoid the CFTC because um, you can't call them, and calling COMEX as frequently as possible, polite, civilly, uh, and uh, let them know we're watching, we're getting pissed. I'm telling you, that would make a difference. And I hope my listeners are doing this once a week. Uh, Strongman, unfortunately, there's been a perfect storm, seems like attorney, especially for silver. Yeah, it's true. Uh, politicians are dragging down the proverbial hole. Uh, you know what? They're dragging this country into the hole. They're not dragging me into their fucking hole. And neither are they going to drag you into that hole, Linda. They're dragging the country into the hole. I love my people. I love this country. I love the land. I love people from all over the world. You know what I hate is our fucking people that run our governments and the people that are in our agencies. We need a complete, complete, complete trashing of all these people and getting all new folks in there. And I don't mean a Democrat or Republican. I'm talking about Americans, not Democrats and Republicans, Americans. We need Americans running right this country. And Americans care about other Americans, and they don't get caught up in these petty bullshit Republican versus Democrats nonsense, all right? Uh, <laughs> man, uh, I think, the, uh, I think th this uh, 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 virus has turned me into a different person. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. Uh, best horse in the glue factory, Welco, what's up? Thank you. Uh, War is nature's way of showing America's geography. Uh, yeah, that's true. I'm trading collector coins for platinum and gold coins on Tuesday. A dealer that a friend of mine is driving five hours to my house trading. My faith in coins is long and it's not so great when I was being told to sell on a hot market, so 80% of my collector coins are being traded. Uh, I, I, you know what? He, I, collector coins are doing so damn well, and I'm not encouraging anyone to go out and buy collector coins, and especially if you're not a collector. That's just foolish. Uh, I've never met someone that speculated in rare coins, uh, or I hardly ever met anyone that speculated in rare coins that wasn't a collector that made money. Most of them lost large amounts of money. But if you're a collector and you have good coins right now and the prices are just insane, the question you have to ask yourself, if the economy takes a real shit, uh, what will that do to the price of a lot of medium and low price coins? Probably not good unless they're made out of gold and silver. Uh, but no less, it may be a good time to take advantage of the premiums that collector coins have and convert it to gold and silver. Can't say for sure, Jim C., but I'm sure you're making the best guess for yourself. Uh, thank you, Richard, Alley, Cat. Um, if two cents is work, uh, thanks for the information. Not sure what uh, doesn't mean it happens. Goldbacks, you have an opinion about these? Uh, Goldbacks, yeah, let me, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go back there. Goldbacks, where are we? Uh, I think they're super cool, uh, James, but the problem is, is that they're priced at double the price of gold or more. And you know what? I wouldn't buy them for gold, per se. I mean, I don't know what to do with them. How would you, you know, if all of a sudden they weren't redeemable anyway, what do you do? Melt the gold? I mean, I don't know how you do that. Throw it in a crucible? I guess. Uh, but no less. Uh, it, they're double the price of gold, and I can't see them ever being legitimately used across the world. Uh, again, governments, banks hate comp governments and bank hate competition. It's never going to be money. Uh, thanks, Brian. I want to thank those efforts. <laughs> uh, I think I've... Uh, uh, I, I've, uh, uh, I've, I've taken silver loving Lou and turned him into a, a cusser like myself. Yeah, I went for both of so yep, absolutely silver loving Lou. Hmm. Oh, this was kind of confusing to me. The way gold and silver have performed through the last few years, I, mean, I would not recommend for people to buy gold and silver as a safe haven. These metals cannot be safe haven anymore. They're the two worst performing commodities on the planet. Um, and uh, you know, I feel for you, Silver Wolf, but I think I put my responses down here, and I think you did. And what is it? And, uh, oh, I'm going to have to answer him, actually, because he did respond. Understanding why is the first key to not being the sucker at the table. As I always say, all markets are rigged. In fact, most of our life is rigged. No less, if you don't play, you can't win. The key is knowing how these markets are manipulated and planning accordingly. 
so you can read my comment right here. You can pause this, because if I read it, it's going to go too long. Silver Wolf, thanks for responding. Uh, thanks for responding. How wrong I'm in such a polite way. My stack and cash, however, is proven to be quite right for me as a mortgage-free, debt and free. It's funny that gold and silver uh, would correct some like me for pointing out the corruption, even the long-term advantage that manipulations have had on your precious metals. Yeah, but if you, you listen, did you just kind of, you got to listen to what I was just talking about. This is a pattern that's been going on for decades. I mean, if you've known about this pattern, you know how to trade on it properly. If you're looking for silver to go to 30 to $100 overnight, no, it, it, you know, it does, it's only done that a couple times, but it's way, you know how you wind up a spring and you wind up a spring uh, and find the spring bust? Well, that's exactly what happened in 1980. That's exactly what happened in 2012. And we're ready for another busted spring. So the market in silver will just go freaking meteoric. You know, it'll, it'll probably go past uh, $100, um, you know, when it does take its next big giant leap because of, uh, again, the spring unwinding. Uh, but no less, in between those times, basically what you've seen is you've seen up and down, up and down. Uh, since 2012, the last high in the silver market, You've seen silver go from basically, what, $12 an ounce to its current level of, uh, or to a high of 30 back down to the low 20s. So, I mean, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, but what it does, and where you are correct, Silver Wolf, what it does is for new investors, for new people getting into the market or looking at the silver market, it does frighten them. It scares the shit out of them. In fact, if they look at the charts, if they're halfway smart, they go, wow, take a look at that. You know. However, that is why silver is not taking off as well. The perception that it's not a good investment, the perception that, that these markets, very few people other than us, people that watch my video and some of us, really know about this manipulation, Silver Wolf. That's like, an, in, there's a, you know, maybe, you know, they say that 1%, you know, less than 1% of the people own gold. And it's even less than that. It's probably like 1% of 1% of retail, not retail, but U.S. <coughs> uh, uh, U.S. citizens own gold, okay? What part of them actually understand manipulation if only 1% of them own gold? I bet you 1% of 1%. So uh, that's not true. But however, the, pr the price of silver being subdued like it has and the price of silver being knocked down in the past and any new people that have gotten in it without studying it, uh, that would frighten them. So you're right about that. It does hurt the credibility of the market, the silver market, you know, just like the LME market with their nickel deal, all right? So let me move into that. Um, and the value negative effect of the I don't care either way. Like I said, I'm mortgage free. Well, good for you, mortgage free and debt free. I've got plenty of useless gold and silver now that I wish I had cash instead. Well, I think you're going to regret that statement, but that's okay. Uh, if I take my medal, someone like you, I'll get to watch you with your magnifying and trying to every. Oh, bullshit. Now I'm going to call you out as bullshit, uh, uh, Silver Wolf. That's just total fucking bullshit. Um, I, you, you know, you, you asked me to be polite with you, and I am being polite, and I'm trying to explain things, and then you come up with some nonsense like that. Your credibility is sinking pretty fast with me here, sir, uh, on that statement. But I know the game is rigged from the president all the way down to judges and cops, all corrupt. Gold and silver safe havens? Sure. Well, where else is a safe haven, sir? Your house, like you think it is? You paid your mortgage down? That wasn't too bright. If you had a low interest loan, you should have kept the loan and put your money into other investments that would make your money. So right off the bat, I think that was a mistake. Borrow, use their cheap fucking money to finance your shit and, and make your other money grow. And you're not gonna make your, you think the real estate market's not gonna take a major shit? Huh, you, you think that you, you, in real estate that you actually own it? You don't. Banks own it until you don't. And then when you, when you finally get your deed and your title, the government owns it. The tax people own it. If you don't pay your taxes, or the, 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 the city may own it if you don't cut your grass. So give me a fucking break. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to go off. And I, and I do believe you're good, well intentioned. You mean the right thing. Uh, historically, gold and silver safe havens, but today, as you point, they're controlled and smashed down. Yes, but every market is, including your, your beloved, uh, your house. That market's uh, so uh, manipulated as well, up and down. Lucky for you and a lot of Americans, it's been up of late, but it's going to take a shit, trust me. A safe haven has no third party liability, and gold in your hand has no third party liability. The pricing structure is an issue, but no less, it's never going to go to zero. It hasn't in 5,000 years, has it, Mr. Silverwolf? And uh, let me see, I'm glad you'll sell you my useless gold and silver stack, 0.68 out to over 15 ounces. Make me an offer. Well, if you give me a call and you were legitimate in town, I would certainly do that. Um, but you know what? Your credibility is shot on that statement up there, and it kind of shows me that you, you got some anger in you. You're pissed off because silver didn't do what you expected to do, and then you're blaming the whole market. And uh, your reasons, and quite frankly, sir, not correct.
Anyway, Silver, I hope you have a better day. You have a nice day, and thanks for responding. I appreciate it. You were somewhat civil until that asshole comment you made, but I'll forgive you for that. Uh, Chris Dutcher says, uh, hey, Brain, just on finding a new virus. <laughs> monkey, monkey pox. Um, own nothing to be happy. Don't care what they say. It's yep, true, true, true. Silverback El Toro. Um, Denise. And Michael Matthews, speaking, I'm going to have my coffee. We're going to close this video out up here. And Silver Wolf, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be tough on you, but, man, I know my shit, all right? This is what I do for a living since I was a kid, all right? So, uh, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, but that's all I'm going to say at this point. And uh, uh, thanks for commenting, even as well. Even though we disagree, let's agree to disagree, and uh, uh, I hope you have a good day, sir. And I usually don't like to get into that kind of, uh, uh, you know, thing where people are saying that I'm going to lie to them or I didn't answer them about their gold and silver. Come on, really? <sighs> Think for yourself, folks, and question authority. As you can tell, I do <laughs> every day frequently, but it makes you a much smarter person. It really does. Uh, but as I've said many times over and over, you know, question your own narrative. Question what you think you know, because a lot of times what you, you know and you believe and your opinion is not really yours. It's someone else's. It's your teachers. It's your, your parents. It's the corporate news. It's the government. You know, always question yourself, and then you're much better able to question other people. Well, hey, that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Wear Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale-by-the-Sea. Um, and if you ever notice I do this once in a while, I go up and look at that page. I'm making sure that recording button is on because one time I did a video for 45 minutes. It was a great video, too. <laughs> I didn't record it. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, this is Brian Kuzmar recovering quite nicely. Uh, if you live in South Florida, we're the people to come to when it comes to rare coins, precious metals, uh, jewelry, estates, antiques, and other things. But we're really good at all this stuff. Uh, my specialty is precious metals as well and rare coins. Uh, call us anytime at 954-493-8811 between the hours of 10 and 4. If you don't live in South Florida, folks, unfortunately, I can't help you. I wish I could. Um, but no less, find yourself a good local dealer. Keep that money local. Hey, thanks for watching, and have yourself a great day. Bye now.